Hello. So today I am here to talk about muscle testing. It is a really simple way of tapping into your intuition and it's through using kinesiology and through using your body's natural intuitive state to bring you the clarity that you might be seeking. So when you're doing muscle testing, it's important to stay hydrated. It's also important to get grounded and get centered, um, which is a good practice just for tackling life in general. Um, but especially when you're doing some more intuitive stuff and le really learning how to tap into your own inner guidance, it's just really important to get grounded, get centered, get still, and just start to come into awareness of your own inner being. And muscle testing works by asking yes or no questions. So what we're basically going to be doing is tapping into our own guidance through yes or no questions. So it can be really helpful if you're trying to decide if something's going to be in alignment for you or not. Um, for example, you know, should I take this next course next week? Yes or no? Um, so I'm just going to walk you through how to do it. It's super easy, super simple, and it might bring you a lot of clarity in your life, which I hope it does. And especially when you start to notice your like monkey mind being crazy and trying to overthink things and trying to like logic your way into understanding how you're actually feeling. So to start off, what you want to do, like I said, is get grounded, get centered, and then start to, we're going to just develop our own intuition. Um, with what yes feels like and with what no feels like. So first of all, to get an understanding of what yes feels like in your body, start to ask really obvious yes questions. So for example, for me, my name is Sarah. So I would ask, is my name Sarah? Yes or no? And so here's how you do it. Stand up and stand straight, get grounded, get centered, close your eyes, and start to ask, is my name Sarah? And if you saw, my body leaned forward. So my my yes is a leaning forward. Um, so do that with a couple different questions. You know, is my name Sarah? Am I 27? Am I from Michigan? Very obvious yes questions. And then of course, you wanna do the same for no. So I would say, for example, <laughs> so super easy, super simple, and you just want to start off doing que asking questions that are going to be a very obvious yes and a very obvious no. And you might not notice a very profound shift, it might be really subtle, you might have to try a few different things. You might lean side to side, instead of forward backward, you might spin in a circle, you might, your body's going to show you what it feels like. And so then you can start to tap into that on your own time when you start asking more deep and profound questions like, should I go to nursing school? You know, yes or no? Is it going to be in alignment for me to maintain the friendship with this person? Yes or no? And the other thing that you really want to pay attention to is not clouding your perception of what you think the answer should be. And just allowing your body to give you the intuitive answers that you're seeking and trusting whatever comes up. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope it's been informative. I hope that you are able to tap into your inner clarity with ease and joy. And I hope that you find the answers that you're seeking. And of course, it's going to be important to drink a lot of water. It might be important to do like a grounding meditation beforehand or even to do some embodied movement to kind of shake it out. Um, maybe do some yoga. Whatever you do to really clear your own personal energy is going to be effective in order to really tap into that clarity and to really trust the answers that come. So I hope this has been informational. I hope that it benefits you. And I am sending all of my love. Mwah.